guys finally sleeps here. Today I wanted to put together a seven part video series that shows gameplay, strategy, and the path from Barcelona to Liverpool, which are the last six matches in the third chapter of the Zidane campaign. These are when the actual matches get really tough. They all require a full 11 man Real Madrid squad as well. And for me, uh, someone who prefers to work off of rental players instead of training anyone, uh, that way I can sell them when I'm complete. I tackled those last six matches with only one trained player uh, striker. Hopefully this will help if you're stuck on any of those matches. First, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Turn on notifications so you're aware whenever we live stream. Normally there's two shows per week, but I'm about as stable as Britney Spears was with a razor in 2007, so notifications are important. In this first installment of this video series, I want to quickly discuss the rental team I used through those last six matches, plus my formation, which is a bit odd. First of all, I didn't want to spend a bunch of coins that I couldn't recover. Um, if not profit from, you know, at the end of the campaign. I don't use a La Liga squad, so none of these players would be sticking around. If you pump XP into a bunch of players you won't keep, uh, you'll be losing 25% of their training costs, training them into future players, not to mention the cost of the original player itself. A rental squad, if you're not familiar for what it is, is just a group of untrained players purchased from the market with the sole intent of selling them when you're done. There's no training, it's just a base card. Uh, coming in, you already have a center back earned in the last campaign, Sergio Ramos. Uh, for me, I went cheap with Nacho Fernandez to his left. Carvajal and Marcelo base cards at outside back, they're still cheaper than training up a gold player. In the goal is the almighty star pass Courtois, still one of the best keeper uh, keeper players in the game. Uh, in midfield, this is where I bought big. Rodrigo UCL right mid is a monster. Cruz and Modric team of the weak players were just cheap enough to make it worth the coins and base Casemiro was his, his stats helped defend in the midfield. Bale, base right wing at striker on the left side and Mariano on the right. Now that's the only card I sunk XP into and the reason was all about strategy. Mariano can connect with his head off of crosses. Unfortunately, he can't jump or push his way to the ball the way someone like Europa League uh, Master Weghorst can, so you need to keep him on the near post for crosses from the right side. Mariano is a base 77 rated card, so the expense of getting him up to that 87 to 90 range is a bit expensive. Uh, for me to take him to 87, it required 410,244 XP to be exact, which was 1,096,378 coins. Just exact numbers. Um, when you're done, you can transfer all 410,000 XP into another attacker and recover almost 800,000 coins of your training costs. But you'll be out the money you paid for Mariano, and he is not cheap. For formation for these uh, matches, I opted for a 4-4-2 to take me all the way up to Liverpool. This isn't a very popular formation, but my strategy was to use Rodrigo's speed to get to the corner and play the ball to a near post Mariano. To get Mariano to pull near post, you need a second striker, otherwise he stays too central. To keep Rodrigo in a recovery position to pick the ball up in midfield, he needed to be at right mid, not right wing. Because of my outside backs and their attack rates, I didn't want to use a three back formation like a 3-5-2 so the 4-4-2 flat was the compromise, and it worked for me. You can experiment with this for you. Um, obviously, there are better players you can pop into your squad, especially after a lot of league arrivals and various Team of the Week additions. So don't go and buy who I use. Just consider it a starting point for your own campaign. When I put this video together, I checked the prices in the market for the 10 players you'll need to purchase. Ramos is obviously free. So 200000 for Nacho. 575,000 for Casamaro, 800,000 for Marcelo, 825,000 for Bale, 850,000 for Carvajal, uh, 1 million for Cruz, 2 million for Team of the Week Modric, 8.4 million for Courtois if you don't already have him, 9.3 million for Rodrigo, that UCL beast, 
and 1.2 million for that 77 rated striker Mariano. Plus, I dropped uh, 410,244 XP into him uh, to boost him to 87, which cost me 1.1 million coins. After you complete the Zidane campaign, you can train him back into another player, though, get back about 750,000 of your coins and all the XP, so there's that. The rest of the players you can simply list in the market and recover your expenses. Uh, take a little bit of a loss or even make some coins, depending upon the market swings between the time you bought and the time you sell. That's a grand total of 26.3 million coins and a little over 400,000 XP to rent the squad I used to complete this campaign. Recovering all of those coins spent should be pretty easy considering you'll also be earning 1,500 gems, 2.1 million coins, 255,000 XP, and three more Real Madrid players you can sell by completing the chapter. Don't think of it as 26.3 million coins uh, spent, think of it as a deposit on Icon Henri, Master Bale, and Prime Icon Zidane that you can easily recover when you're finished. Uh, that's it for part one. In part two, we're going to look uh, at the matches and talk about strategy and gameplay. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and visit FinallySleeps.com for all things FIFA Mobile. As long as you keep watching, I'll keep making videos. Thanks for watching. Maybe check out one of these other videos next. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Visit my site, FinallyHeSleeps.com, for daily posts about FIFA Mobile and other various brain vomit. Plus, if you get really bored, you can find merchandise and my latest comedy album, Life Before the Internet, at the links below. Like, down at the bottom, those links.